do my video. Today, um, well, I'm going to make a start on uh, removing the last trim pieces from the headliner and removing the fabric and the foam. So, yeah. So right, so this is the roof liner. And as you see, we're in my conservatory, which, um, as you may also see, is uh, nowhere near to being finished. It has been this way for about three years. I am just really slack. Yeah, anyway. So here we are, the roof liner. And um, as you can see, we have these little, I believe they are, 9 mil. more they're like half nut things on plastic. Yeah, and a few metal brackets and nailed the baskets and stuff, etc. And the light mount for in the middle um, to your thing. So first things first, you want to remove these, and I find a nine mil ratchet was best wherever I put it. Um, yeah, carefully remove them and the plates from behind, and uh, store them out of the way. You don't want to lose them. You want them to go back on again afterwards, because otherwise it defeats the object if we uh, don't improve it, does it? So. Right, already, as you can see, I've uh, broken one of my baskets. Got a bit heavy handed. Thought I could just give it a good pull. Yeah, snapped. So I'm either going to want a new one or repair that before I refit it all. But yeah, these, these are the bits we're getting out. So we can remove all this old scabby head liner. And we can get all this foam removed. As it comes off fairly easy with a minor sticky residue. Um, I'm going to use a scrubbing brush and maybe some soapy water. Um, but a little residue won't matter for uh, what I've got planned. I've uh, changed my mind from my original plan. I was uh, going to bed liner it and then put all the stuff back on it. And yeah, I thought that looked sweet. But I'm going with a plan that I did before on one of my old rat rods, so yeah, should be sad. Nice. Um, some of these are actually a pain in the arras. You can see some of them come off. This seems more quite easy. Others seem to stick. Can you see it's like chuffed up the thread or something? And yeah, so you get one or two that's persistent, and yeah. And then if you're like me, you snap one off. That should be fine, as long as I snap off any more. Right, as we can see here, on the left is not how you do it. On the right is how you do it. Oh, let me wrap it there. Shameless the plug. Alfred's Advanced Tools. If you want to sponsor me, Alfred, hit me up, you know what I mean? I could do with some more tools. Lovely stuff, really good. Yeah, anyone needs any tools, Alphas are really good. Uh, quality stuff, cheap, and you get a lifetime guarantee mostly. Anyway, right, as you can see, I've mostly got all this out. Just got this one last bracket and this centre piece to take out, and yeah, then we can flip her over and get the fabric off. As you can see, I'm a little bit struggling for spaces, so I've got to um, jiggle some stuff around and figure it out. Well, I've got all the bits and bobs and doodads out. And I've uh, started to peel off this crap, which has left this foamy stuff I mentioned earlier, which actually comes off quite easy. And the residues left might not actually be that bad for my next plan. Hello. Right. I've uh, skipped ahead a bit because, uh, well, I've had the kids and stuff, so I've been trying to do it around the kids and around the dogs and cleaning up the house. And but anyway, I took the roof liner into my conservatory and I scrubbed it down with a scrubbing brush and I took all the foam off after peeling back the uh, fabric obviously and then I've uh, paper mache all inside of it after removing all the plastic trim pieces everywhere obviously now this is done in no particular order so I've not favoured any pictures, stories, anything, it's just literally slammed on there. I did this to a rat rod once before and yeah, made for a quite an interesting piece. Um, you won't see
interesting, I would just go with it anyway. How about that? And it solved the uh, good old disco sagging headliner problem. All that is is a, a PVA glue and water mixture brushed on, you know. Easy peasy. Nice, simple, cheap, effective. Uh, yeah, I'll come back to you when I've uh, started putting the trim pieces back on. Sand. Uh, I've only gone and made a mess of the headliner, haven't I? Um, the paper mache don't seem to have adhered to the foam as well as other oats and it's created big baggy pockets as it's dried and shrunk up. It's made a right mess of it. It looks like a right dog's dinner. So, um, yeah, I guess it's going to be plan B. Now, I could have just left this part out and not done part two and not put that I messed it up and put the video up and so you know that I, I, I made a mistake, you know what I mean? But not like that. It's all the good and the bad. Yeah, so, yeah, a cocktail. There you go. Next is plan B. Come on, I want to have a laugh. Mm, slag me off in the comments. Mm, you shit, uh, you shit, I did, it didn't work. Paper mache, oh. Yeah, I can see that. Hmm. And I can see defeat, but I will not be beaten. Yes, so uh, as you can see, it's a mess. So there'll be a part three to this. Um, please like and subscribe and try and help somebody grow their channel, even if you don't actually like it. I'm just an honest bloke, four kids, just trying to make a YouTube channel. What's a like and a subscribe?